Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play a Danganronpa Part 43. That's that's probably correct. Last video, I know we finished off at Kazuichi's report card slash social link. We have become best friends again with the everyone's favorite variety of soda. Oh boy. Uh, we got handiwork. You can reload two bullets at once. I mean, I guess that's not awful. Um, the fever time is so overtuned in this game that, like, you barely even need to actually pay attention to the mechanics, though, of, uh, the rhythm game, which I guess is good for- I mean, I like rhythm games, kind of. I'm not very good at them, but something about the- the UI or something in- for the version in this game, like, gets me. I don't know. Um, but we, we always believe in each other, and that's good. I'm glad Kazuichi uh, decided to quit being a freaking weirdo and realize that Hajime is love, Hajime is life. Now, let's go talk to Fiyahiko and see if we can become best friends with him. Or if he's going to ghost us as well. Now, the question is, if I was a little baby gangster, where would I be hiding? In my room, obviously. Yes, my favorite, my favorite location. Place where I sleep and do nothing else. Ding dong! Ding dong! Yeah, come in! Once again, why does everyone else get cool shit, but Hajime doesn't? Or capturing Nagita tonight, huh? I should try to calm down and preserve my energy. Invite for you, he gonna hang out? Invite for you, he gonna hang out. Sure, I don't mind. It's not bad. No, actually, it's uh, pretty fun. I talked to Fiyahiko about random things over drinks. Now that we've gotten him tipsy. <laughs> uh, here's a present. Now, I have no clue. Some wine? Do you like non-alcoholic wine? I mean, we know he likes... You like cake? I don't know. You said you like fried dough cookies. I mean, that's kind of like a cake. Maybe? I don't know if I've ever really had fried dough cookies. I mean, I've had cookies and a lot of fried stuff. I mean, it sounds very good. But he hates milk. He does not like milk. His last things that have worked, we gave him a bunch of Yakuza videos, and I should have gone and bought like a bunch of presents, but I kind of forgot. We gave him the flash suppressor, he was like, hell yeah buddy, that's sweet as hell. I don't know, none of these are really standing out to me. I mean, do you like swords? I don't know, I still never decided if I think swords are good or not. Because, I mean, I feel like there's an argument to be made for them both being a good gift for Fuyuhiko and a bad one. On one hand, it's like, oh, this reminds me of Peko. Wow, that's so cool. On the other hand, it's, wow, this reminds me of Peko. Gosh, sure do feel bad about getting her killed. I don't like this. So, so you're trying to suck up to me? Do you really think I can take bribes? Well, it's fine if I accept this from you. Hey. Hi, Jume. There's something I need to talk to you about. Come here. You seem more serious than usual. What's going on? I followed Fuyuhiko until we arrived at his cottage. Um, should anybody tell the game we were already at his cottage? Damn right. Yo, wait there. I got something from the supermarket. <laughs> huh, here it is. He slammed a 60-ounce bottle on a glass right in front of me. Is this alcohol? Nah, it's just water. <gasps> Listen up, underage drinking is not allowed under any circumstances. What? Uh, but... But... Let me tell you, the smell's enough to make me pass out. I advise you not to go within 30 feet of the stuff. D don't be absurd. <laughs> Regardless, it just wouldn't feel right with only a plastic bottle. Come on, take it. I'll take the glass, but I have no idea what the heck is going on. Um, this is probably... Is this a, a brotherhood cup? I, I mean, I get the concept. I'm not really familiar with the terminology. Could you be talking about a brotherhood cup? Huh? What? what you, you don't want to? Nah, it's nothing like that. I just honestly never thought anything like this would ever happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Don't think about it too much. This isn't making us real brothers or anything. Hey. This is a promise to return alive. Together. 
I will never die. I mean, I've already died once. Oh, dude, he's a, it's zombie Pekko. I was thinking it was going to be Robo Pekko. He's actually a Zombro. And Pekko already saved that life, after all. <laughs> but you look like the type who dies easily, you know? So I thought it'd be good if we made a promise like this. Hey, don't say something so ominous. Shut up! That's why I'm saying I'll give you half of my life. You. I mean, you. Well, yeah. You're, you're my very first friend. Even now, I'm still worried about whether I deserve to leave the clan. But I feel like that might change if I get out of here alive. So. Hajime, you better not die either. Yahiko, you... If you're unsure, then live. And live on. Search persistently. And keep looking for it. Oh, isn't that sweet? And then, you should... You should be able to find it. Now, don't turn out to be the killer in this case, because I'd be very mad if you say all this shit and then try and get us killed. Yeah, you're right. I'll definitely try to find it, too. I mean, I trust for you, Higo. Um, famous last words, maybe? I accepted the cup and swallowed the water in one gulp. Also, um, wasn't his little thing back there translated earlier? Because... Didn't it say something else? Like it said something in English and now it's a kanji? But Yuhiko did the same and suddenly smashed the cup afterwards. <laughs> uh, he'll have another? Some say shattering the cup is a bad open, but I prefer it this way. I mean, if you break something, that means you can't, uh, it can't ever be broken again. But what if you fix it? Hey. Oh, that's right. Do you want to be my underloom when we get out of here? Uh, I mean, we could be like second in command. You mean like a little brother? That doesn't feel right. Jeez. Fine, then you can, just, you can just be my bro. Damn right. Well, anyway, we gotta give it our all and think of a way to get us out of here. We each took a piece of the broken cup and put it in our pocket. I can feel a strong bond with Fuyuhiko. As long as I have this bond, I'll never give up. That's what I believe. We can now make a persona of the Justice Arcana. Uh, Fuyuhiko's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. You just unlocked the skill Silver Spoon. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Um. <laughs> I mean, you think it would be like, hey, here's a piece of the cup. Because it just mentioned that he took that as a keepsake. But it's like, nah, here's his man thong. After talking to Fiyahiko for a while about various things, I returned to my room. Various things, like... Why, why did he just give us his underwear? Looks like it's starting to get dark. Ding dong! The doorbell! Is someone here? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I know it was probably someone like Sonya or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it. I mean, so much has happened since we arrived at the island. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened my cottage door. And got stabbed by Nagito. Oh, what's up? N Nagito? Why, why is he here? I mean, he had to know that we're obviously gunning for, for him. I mean, he's evil and crazy. He's not dumb. What are what are you doing here? <laughs> you sure ask weird questions. That's not it. I mean, you guys all have business with me, right? Huh? Well, Chiaki invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? He's already found out about our plan. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? <laughs> but it's good timing. I have some business with you guys, too. You do? Everyone's already at the lobby. That saves me a lot of trouble. Hey. And I want you to come to the lobby, too, even though you're not directly involved with the plan. You even know that. I see. Just as I thought, you were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right? Since you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. Now, now. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. Someone like me? You shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Oh, well. Anyway, let's hurry over to the lobby. Also, get a bath, Hajime. You stink. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you guys are going to do to me. <laughs> when we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together. So let's go already. Fine. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. Um. I don't know what you guys are planning, but like I said, I also need to talk to you guys about something. <laughs> Isn't that a strange coincidence? It's like there's something we both need to tell each other. Is it time for us to confess our love? 
I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. I already said that, Hajime. Get a new line. Alrighty, let's, uh... Oh, dude, are we gonna get captured if we walk in first? Chiaki has summoned Nagito, and the plan has already started. We, Hiko, and Akane should be waiting inside for Nagito. Jeez. What happened, Hajime? What are you so nervous about? I I'm not nervous. You're <laughs> nervous. <laughs> you're a terrible actor. Uh, man, that hurts. Oh, well, if you're gonna slow down like that, I'll go inside first. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. Oh, no. Okay. She's got him. I got him. Um, what are you doing? Some playful roughhousing? Don't judge us for this, but we're gonna tie you up. It's our fetish, okay? Don't kink shame. <laughs> tie me up. There's no use struggling. Kazuichi, put some authority in your voice. But I'm not struggling. Huh? <laughs> what the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Oh no, he's got some big intel, doesn't he? Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. I'm guessing he, maybe he knows who the traitor is. Even though I'm still under the impression that there isn't actually a, a traitor in the true sense of the word. Um, it's either that, like, they've completely forgotten they're the traitor, so therefore it doesn't really, like, matter because they've acted in their in the group's best interest the entire time. Or maybe it's that they're a traitor, but they're actually doing a good thing? You guys are really disappointing. Maybe? How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? Because we don't really know that much about this future foundation in comparison to like... Because I mean, I think they said they're World Ender or related to World Ender, but we don't necessarily know that's true. You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin! The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island! Oh no, he's gonna summon the Dark Lord finally. And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. Monka? Oh, man. <coughs> I was trying to drink my water quickly and, uh, drank it a little too quickly. The air shook. An explosion of darkness overtook me and I was unable to see anything. I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. What? What's going on? Are the words that left my mouth, but they vanished before they ever reached my ears. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. I did say something about him, uh, using a bomb to kill us all. <laughs> He's got a very good evil laugh. I, I do, I do very much appreciate it. It's amazing! These amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end! It's over. This is the end. The killings are done for good. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice, while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now! I mean, he's kinda got a slight point. And to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island! Wh what do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. My man would be the one to find, like, the nuke on the island or something. Actual bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode... Uh, why has Nagito become a Metal Gear Solid villain? The force will be enough to wipe out this entire island! Well, what the hell are you saying? If you do that, of course... Now he I just needs to get roller skates and start, uh... You know, busting some moves? But, there's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Nagito... Please stop! Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll stop since Sonya asked so nicely. Uh, are you crazy or something? No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... Bonk? Bonk him? 
Yeah, isn't this breaking the rules? Like, shouldn't he be, like, punished? My, my, this guy. Emergency! Emergency! I'm totally shocked. Seriously, I'm totally shocked. That's all I can say about this turn of events. <laughs> the bombs I said are tied. They set off to go in two days at noon. I've prepared so many powerful bombs that the ones that just exploded don't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up an entire island. Which means in two days at noon, this island is destined to sink into the sea. That's not how islands work. But, whatever. Are you serious? Wow. Do you really think I'd go this far for a joke? You. Where, where did you set him? <laughs> I can't tell you. How about it? It'd be easy to leave you on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. So how about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity to me, I'll tell them where I hid the bombs. Huh? Emergency! What in the world is going on? Is everyone all right? Hey, come on now! Don't get in the way. Nagito was in the middle of weeding out the traitor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe that's what he wanted to talk to Monokuma about, was clearing this so it wouldn't be a rule violation. Nagito, what are you planning to do? <laughs> do I really have to say it? It's no use. I mean, the traitor shouldn't be able to reveal their identity on their own. Interesting. Why? I guess it's because they don't know that the traitor. Hmm. Do I really have to say it? Ba -bum, ba -bum. My, my, you guys are totally getting the eye on each other and letting sparks fly. I'm getting all hot and bothered. Don't just stand there. Why don't you stop him? Huh? Stop him? Why do I have to stop him? The rules, remember? The same black can only kill a maximum of two people. Also, he destroyed property. Like, you know, you can't destroy the screens and stuff, and that screen back there is mega broken. If he blows up the entire island, that's going to kill way more than just two people. Hmm. I see. You sure have a good memory. Like you said, if any student breaks that rule, I have to punish them severely. Right. But he hasn't broken the rule yet. But he has. Isn't there a property rule? Regulations? Did they remove that in this game? I guess that doesn't exist in this game. Well, there it is. Destroying any property without permission. Okay, so I guess that's he did get permission, potentially. All right. That's right. Yep, saying you're going to break the rules isn't against the rules. Too bad. So right now, there's no way I can punish this. What the hell? You're so stupid. Punishment always happens afterward, not before. That's just the rules of society, right? But uh, he's the thought crime. It's a thought crime, dude. Hey. Get him. But even so, there's no way to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. This is exciting. It'll all be fine. I'm sure everyone will work out in the end. Everything will work out in the end. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. <laughs> and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely going to be all right. After he said that, Nagito walked away. He just walked away. I couldn't even stop him. I felt... Afraid of Nagito. The madness emanating from Nagito's body was seeping into my bones. I never expected him to go this far. <laughs> Nagito's so reliable, I don't have to do anything because he's shaking things up. <sighs> that bastard, I'll never forgive him. Damn it! Is he fucking serious about those bombs? Hey, hey! As long as the traitor comes forward, he'll say where the bombs are, right? Is that his goal? Damn it! And I'm begging you guys, it doesn't matter who does it, someone just has to come forward. Hey, I'm begging you guys. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. I mean, I mean, you could come forward and lie, potentially? I mean, even if you don't... Because, I mean, I still think it's that Hajime's the traitor, he just has had his memories wiped. When Nagito... What Nagito said yesterday... I'll weed out the traitor even if it cost me my life. I finally understood what he meant. Nagito took this entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. That is Nagito's goal. But what is he planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Is he really going to blow up the entire island? Of course! My motto is to do a good deed every day. When I was at a bar and shouted, Can I get a Sam? The female bartender happily answered, Sure thing. 
It makes me so happy when someone else is this happy. Doing a good deed every day is awesome. But inside, I wouldn't probably thought I was a loser for sitting alone at a cheap bar in the middle of the night. Damn it, I can't keep up with this crap. Hey, Sweet Cheeks, give me another Sam. Not, not a Sam Adams, I'm mostly talking about raw salmon. And here's some good news for you. I have imbued the smell of vanilla into the Monokuma plushies. It's an effective aromatherapy and it'll definitely calm everyone's nerves if they're agitated. Available in the near future, but we need it now. <laughs> That's it for Monokuma Shopping Corner. Ding dong, bing bong, by the way. Ahem! Hope's good morning! Now then! I seen it. Seen it! I've been resting since the explosion yesterday, but my body still hurts. A dull metallic sound is ringing in my ears, and the back of my head feels hot. I can't think straight. But I can't afford to spend the whole day resting. I immediately left my cottage. Okay. What's up, buddy? Hey! Hey, it's you, right? You're the traitor, aren't you? Alright, I retract that, buddy. W what the hell are you saying? C come on, just admit it already. If you don't, we're all gonna die. I'm not the traitor. Damn it! Uh -huh, I'm begging you, it doesn't matter who admits it, just save me. Get a hold of yourself, Kazuichi. Complaining won't change anything, okay? Shut up! Shut I know up. that, but what else can we do? I need to think about what the- uh, I need to think about that with the others, so let's hurry over to the restaurant. Damn it! Remember when you said you would never doubt us again? Yeah, remember that conversation? I don't know, eight in-game hours ago? Yo. Oh, it's you. You're covered in sweat. Huh. I was looking for Nagito. This traitor stuff bugs the crap out of me. I won't forgive you. I just have to beat him up and make him tell us where the bombs are. But I can't find him anywhere. Is he hiding or something? Damn it. Hey, man, I'm starting to get hungry. Maybe I should go back to the restaurant. I looks pretty frustrated. I guess that makes sense after what happened yesterday. Hey man, what's gonna happen to us now? Hmm. She's quietly staring at the arcade machine with sad eyes. Good morning, Hajime. Did this arcade machine break? It was too close to the explosion. I guess I couldn't take it. Man, this arcade machine was really popular, and it was so tough that even an elephant couldn't damage it. What do you mean, really popular? You're the only one who uses it. <sighs> but if it's broken, I can't do anything about it. I guess it's, that's just how it is. Her shoulders are sagging pretty low. I mean, yeah, we got Kazuichi. He's still alive. The gang is all yeah. here? Yo, Hajime, how you feeling? Not good, but not so bad that I can't move. <laughs> then you're okay. This is bad. I'm not okay at all. My ears are seriously ringing. Damn it. My eardrum is definitely ruptured. I need to hurry and have a doctor look at it. Wait, we, we killed the closest thing we have to a doctor. But she was a crazy lady, so... Um, so what should we do now? However... What can we do? Hmm. How troubling. If the traitor would just come forward, this problem would be resolved in no time. Now, Nagito, when did you... Hey. Good morning. I came to motivate you guys since you're just laying around. Can't I tell you yesterday that the bombs are set to go off in two days at noon? When you got one day left, come on, you better hurry. I mean... Hurry? I, I'm not the one who has to come forward. The traitor does, right? Well... Well, that's probably true. But even if this does depend on the traitor, your attitudes aren't very admirable at all. Isn't that right? I mean, real hope is when you confront a hopeless difficulty that's standing before you, right? And despite that, you guys are already ready to give in. What does that mean? Yeah. Or is this your limit? If so, it makes me laugh to think I ever called you symbols of hope. Yeah. You bastard, you better knock it off. Now, now. Keep your shirt on. Please keep your shirt on. I took the time to come to bring you guys a valuable hint. Wouldn't it be so bad if I changed, it, changed my mind? Huh? Did he just say hint? Um, Left to right? Hurry and get the hint? I think. Akane looks like she's ready to tackle him. Tackle him, Akane. Hey, hey! Crush his head like a watermelon. Uh, it's okay if I punch him, right? 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 C calm down, Akane. You might feel better after punching Nagito, but if we can't find the bombs, well. I won't forgive you. Couldn't we just go to like another island? Or does he have bombs planted on all the islands? I guess all the islands? 
damn it. Now I can just holding all the cards here. You serious? He said hint just now, right? Well, let's hurry up and find out what it is. Um. For now, we should learn what this hint is. If we can find the bombs instead of searching for a traitor who does not even exist. But first things first, let's get some, uh... Let me, let me look at the, the sign. Now the sign is not interactable. I was going to make a joke about let's order a hamburger. But... Nagito, what's your hint? I'm glad. Oh, you finally have hope? That makes me happy. Hey! Who freaking cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the hint is. Well... It's about the bomb's hiding place. I hate it somewhere you guys haven't been before. Huh? So somewhere we have not been before. You piss me off. I don't need me hints. Just tell me where the answer is. If you don't, I'll make you spit it out. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Stop it. What are we going to do if he sets off another bomb? Yep. Good judgment. Hey. If you guys have time to pick a fight with me, then you should start searching for the bombs already. And I'll just crush you to pieces later. Wow. How scary. Hey. Why did you give us a hint? See? Well, if the traitor sees their friends working hard, they may feel inclined to come forward, you know? <laughs> Who cares? The traitor might not even exist. All we need to do is find the damn bombs. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Take care. I... By the way, I'll be waiting here if you want to reveal yourself. Come see me anytime. Right? Mr. Miss Trader. We left the restaurant as Nagito's muffled laughter trailed behind us. Why? Hazuichi, why did you stop me? Huh? Oh, huh, what are you talking about? You. you hadn't stopped me, you could have crushed Nagito to pieces. Bastard! You're too fired up, dumbass. Calm the fuck down, at least. More importantly, let us all head over to the ancient ruin. Hmm. The ruin? Please listen. Nagito said the bombs are hidden somewhere we have not, never seen before. So just as I thought. If that's the case, the inside of that ruin is the only place I can think of. Well. There was one other place, too. What is it again? The castle at the amusement park? What's its name? Huh? Are you talking about the Natsumi Castle? Hey, hey, hey! Uh, you, you don't get it. He freaking means uh, Nezumi Castle, not that company, lady. Then we have uh, two places to choose from, but we won't be able to enter the ancient room without a password. What should we do? Like... Password, huh? I'm guessing we still don't have any clues to that. Hey, hey. That probably goes for Nagi, though, too. He wouldn't be able to enter it without the password either, right? Well, he has those books and stuff. He probably figured it out. If that's the case, it's hard to think that the bombs are set inside the ancient ruin, right? So we should try going to Nazumi Castle first. Are we screwed? Isn't that dangerous? I mean, what if it was Nagito's trap all along? Jeez. Monokuma's trap, Monami's trap, and now Nagito's trap? Dumbass. We keep worrying about shit like that, we won't get anywhere, d anything done, dumbass. You. You're totally fired up too. Yeah. Two! Hey. Anyway, we should try going there at least. We don't have time to stand around doing nothing. All right! Full speed ahead! Obviously. Full speed ahead! All right, we'll tackle Nazumi Castle first. Can we go turn ourselves in? Is that an option? Nagito, buddy. Can we get the secret ending? What? Are you the traitor, Hajime? Jeez. You're not, right? There's no way a reserve course student would ever be the part of the future foundation. Right? It's impossible. <laughs> You don't even know. Hey, Hajime, as a reserve core student, the only thing you can do is to come food for the others, you know? So, try working a little harder. That way the traitor will feel like coming forward. He doesn't know. I mean, if anything, the fact that he's not a member of Hope's Peak, like, he's not an ultimate, wouldn't that make him more suspicious as a potential traitor? Because, I mean, he's the only one that had to prove himself as being traditionally competent in order to get into Hope's Peak. Everyone else is just like, ah, I was innately born good. But, you know, just because you're a good dancer doesn't mean you're a good spy. You know? Or any of the other talents, for that case. I'm not just picking on Hyoko for uh, no reason whatsoever. Well, yes, I am, but... We're going to... Island number four. Nobody's around. Hello. Damn it. Hey, don't you think it's definitely a trap? Like once we go inside the castle, kaboom. Nah, I don't think that's going to happen. Nagito wants to weed out the traitor, not kill us all at the same time. That's true, but he's crazy, you know? Anyway, we need to keep trying and head over there. 
and here we still have to go. Anyway, let's go to Nazumi Castle. Now the question is, where might this castle be? Hey, hey, hey! Check it out. The entrance is destroyed. It's been blown to bits as if someone set off a bomb. I get it. That's true. It looks like this place is spot on. D damn it! And the bombs are inside here. Damn right. That's what it looks like. Um, I mean, the bombs can't all be on the same island. They have to be spread out, you would think. Now let's try going inside. But if we need to be careful. We need to pay as much attention as we can. You're right. That or we couldn't we just go to the bomb that's furthest away from the fourth island? Or the island that's furthest away from the fourth Listen. island? Can you grip the trouser snake if you do not enter its den? What? Well, it's the same for situations like this, right? When you know there's danger, you must still face it. Um, what does grip the trouser snake mean anyway? That that should just be snake. Hey, hey, hey! Hold it! <laughs> way she said it's just fine. If you don't want to correct her, she'll say it as many times as you want. You... <laughs> Good job, Hajime. Miss Sonya's words just now have been etched onto my heart. I see. He's trying to ease everyone's tension. That's pretty considerate of him. Or is it? Hmm. It's not like we know for certain that the bombs are in there. Let's go see what's inside for now. You... What are you scared of? Do you want me to go in first? No, it's, it's fine. I'm just talking to everyone. Are we screwed? We got so few characters at this point. I can kind of. I feel like I can do it every time now. But still, he didn't even try to hide the door he destroyed. <laughs> Don't you think it's a trap? Maybe as soon as we go inside, kaboom. Jeez. Like I said, if you keep worrying about shit like that, you won't get anything done. Just prepare for the worst and make Hajime go in first. <laughs> if Nigel destroyed the door, he sure did a thorough job. Then let's go. After forcing a dry swallow, I nervously stepped through the door. And there. Okay. What is this place? I thought the inside would look more lighthearted than this. Um. Um, this feels like where you fight Ornstein and Smo and Dark Souls. It's got a few too many pillars, though. This ambiance feels similar to that temple or a church, however. Is it just me? Does it seem like there are no bombs to be found here? Well. Nah, it's not just you. Hmm. The bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island. They should be pretty big. But I don't see anything. I don't see a place where they could be hidden either. Huh? Then the bombs aren't here? The bombs aren't here. But even so, I feel like there's something suspicious here. But why? It feels like this place is different somehow. This feeling. It's the same feeling I felt when I saw that ancient ruin. All right, let's, uh, I mean, I guess there's this, but let's talk to everyone first. Hmm. Since we've never been here before, this place was going to be it for sure. Huh? Now I think better not be making stuff up just to mess with us. Damn right. Hey, it looks like something's written on the floor. The floor? Huh? Here, look closely. Nah, I refuse. That is... The bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island. They should be rather large. However, no matter where we search, we have not found anything like that at all, right? D damn it! There's no bombs here? Then what the heck are they? Where the heck are they? Mm. Perhaps they're buried under the floor, maybe? Nah, that's not it. There's no sign that the floors were dug up. Mm. Then where are the bombs? If the bombs are really blasted open, and there's no doubt that Nagito was here. It's to all subjects. The password to guide everyone to the future. 110... Three seven. The font doesn't make the this font doesn't match the ambiance of the castle at all. It's almost like it was intentionally put here. Hey everyone, come check this out. Huh? huh? What's that? Whoa, wait, one one. Is that is that Leon? No, no, it's not. I was like, maybe that. What was the number you used to spell Leon in uh, the first game? Or when when they thought it was numbers? I can't remember. Well, no, actually. Because it was, like, backwards. I think that's maybe the same number string that spelled out Leon in the first game. Possibly? To all subjects. Subjects? Who are they talking about? 
Is it about us? What's more written below that? What does it mean? The password to guide everyone to the future is... Lies. What the heck is this? We can't even read the most important Lies. part. The password to guide everyone to the future. What does the password to guide everyone to the future even mean? I mean, come on. Maybe it's that password. Could it be? The password to access that ancient ruin? Guide everyone to the future? Maybe that refers to the Japanese word that's written on the door? Whoa! As expected, Miss Sonya, she only had to read it once to understand what it means. Like. But if we can't read the password, there's nothing we can do. That is. It's a rather tragic moment. Hey, hey. I wonder who erased this. Erased. So. I mean, it doesn't look like it was erased naturally, right? It looks like it was forcibly scratched off. That's the only way I can see it. Even so. But Monami and Monokuma shouldn't have entered this castle because they don't like mice, right? I mean, they could have been faking, but we'll roll with it as true. I won't forget. It was Nagito. He's the one who erased the password. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. Perhaps. Nagito probably discovered the password here and used it to enter into the ancient ruin. Then he hid the bombs inside the ruin. I get it. So we erased the password so we wouldn't be able to get near the bombs. But he doesn't know that we have knowledge of the first. I'm pretty sure that's the same number sequence. That actually makes a lot of sense. That's true. He gave us a hint even though he knew we wouldn't be able to use it. Don't tell me. Just so we could shove that reality in our faces? You know we could enter the ancient ruin if we don't know the password. But in the end, if we can't do anything about the bombs unless the traitor comes forward, did he lure us to this place we'll be forced to confront that? Forcing us to confront the despair before us? Forcing us to confront how powerless we are? Damn it, that's what Monokuma would do. Uh. Hey, um... Whoever you are, you don't have to reveal yourself to us. Just tell Nagito. If you don't, you'll end up dying too, you know? You. Hey, who are you saying that to? <sighs> I, I don't know, I'm just saying it to everyone. Oh. Let's stop. Fighting amongst each other won't help anything. More importantly, let's work harder to find the password to that ancient ruin or clues that might relate to it. Hey. As long as we cooperate and explore all over the island, we might be able to find it, you know? D damn it! Are you telling us to look everywhere for a password that might not even exist? Hey. Who would leave a password here in the first place and why? If it wasn't Monokuma or Monami, then who was it? We can't even answer that, so there's no way we'll be able to find anything. Please wait! Then what would you have us do? Just wait until we all die? That is no different from when we were in the funhouse, and what did we learn there? We learned not to give up on living, right? Hmm. That, that Gundam was the only one who said that. <sighs> Very well then, I shall look for it on my own. Excuse me. Sonya, hold on! But Sonya ignored me as I called out for her and stormed out of the area. Her shoulders were shaking a little, I'm sure of it. I mean... What, what the heck? Shut up! Shut up! Damn it, fine thing you want to look for it? Well, fine. Hey, Kazuichi left Mizumi Castle and walked in the opposite direction of Sonya. What the heck are they doing? Now's not the time for infighting. Like... Well, it might be a good idea to work separately. Hey, I'm getting flashbacks here. Huh? Why? Huh? I mean, it's easier to move around that way, you know? In case someone wanted to secretly go meet someone? Hey, does that mean... Sorry. Just act like I was thinking out loud and pretend you weren't listening. Damn it. Not again. Man, we're scattered as usual. Stupid fool. Seriously. If you think so, then please help. <laughs> yeah, leave it to me. I've got a secret plan. It involves lots of donuts. I won't forgive you. Just have to find the source of the problem and snap it off. Akane, wh what's your secret plan? Could it be? I have a bad feeling about the way Akane's acting. I'll run after her. It's best if we keep Akane away from Naito for now. Far away. You're right, I guess I'll leave it to you. Yep. Okay, see you later. Jake ran after Akane. And from there, I was the only one left. What does this really mean? Who are the subjects that are being referred to? What's the password to guide everyone to the future? I wonder if it'll let us go try and put it in. Because I'm pretty sure it's 11037. I was the last to leave Nizumi Castle, and I wandered over to the island, searching for clues to the password. I didn't expect to find anything, and in the end, that's exactly what happened. And so time passed by with its usual speed. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! It is now 10 p.m. Is it? Please return to your rooms and relax. Actually, it's uh, 4.26 p.m. the ocean gently rock you to sleep. 
I mean, I guess it depends on where you are in the world, but for me, it's 4.26 p.m. 4.27 p.m. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Even after the announcement, I kept searching the island, but I didn't find what we were looking for. After a while, I'd forgotten what I was supposed to be looking for in the first place. In the end, after coming up empty-handed, I returned to the hotel. I didn't see anyone else on my way back here, but I also didn't see them while I was exploring either. That's because even though this island is so vast, our numbers have drastically decreased since we arrived. I can't think of any other reason than that. I should go back. Ah, oh, dude. Go to the ruin, man. Nagato said time runs out at noon tomorrow. Another day is about to end. Which means there's only half a day left. Can't imagine the traitor will be revealed by then, and since we don't even know if they really exist. And even if they do, it's impossible they've forgotten that they're the traitor. And this thinking makes me feel like I should do something, but... My brain and body were yearning for rest, probably because of all the walking I did today. As I dozed off, horrible, disgusting images began to surface from the back of my mind. One after the other. But before I could focus on the specifics of those images... I slowly sank into the depths of darkness. Oh boy, Monokuma Theater, my favorite! Hey, um... I think giving up is really important. If you don't give up on your dreams, they'll come true! If you, That's just irresponsible and lazy encouragement. No matter how much you try without giving up, it's useless in the end. Persistence is just the worst. That's why giving up is so important. But you can't give up if you don't even try. That's Monica actually Theater. the worst of all. That's all for... Is that the last one, really? Are we never going to get to sleep again? Ahem. Hope's good morning, everyone. Now then, let's show some... In Okay, we only got a few hours. The scenery this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see sunlight peeking through the window. I can hear the faint sound of waves crashing on the beach. But the bombs Nagito said are going to destroy all this. Once time runs out at noon, at the moment, there's nothing about our situation that's changing for the better. Usually I'd go to the restaurant, but what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nagito said. Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here, so if you want to reveal yourself, come and see me anytime, Mr. and Miss Trader. It sounds like he was planning to hang out at the restaurant all day. Wait a minute, he's going to be there all day. And if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do, a bad feeling lingering in my chest grew with each beat of my frantic heart. I immediately ran out of my cottage. Um, yeah, let's go investigate. Sonya's there. Okay. Well, Sonya's alive. Um. Good morning, Hajime. I... About yesterday, I may have been somewhat careless with my words. I could not keep myself from snapping at what Kazuchi said and I acted on my own. Thanks to my actions, everyone ended up going their own separate ways, right? Yeah, but what you said wasn't wrong either. Um, I have not given up yet. I'll do my very best to live until the very end. If not, I will not be able to face Gundam, Nekumaru, or the others who have died. No Chioxters. Slightly worrying. Oh no. The moment I set foot inside the restaurant, the worst case scenario was unfolding before me. Okay. Playtime's over. Now, where'd you hide the bomb? I wouldn't say this is the worst case scenario. That hurts, but I'll never tell. If you really want me to spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. I doubt you could make him crack in like three hours. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there. Or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. If you're not willing to fill me with despair... There's no way my hope will ever burn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kane's hand suddenly wrapped around Nagato's neck and his face began turning a startling shade of red. Fine with me. Just die already. Her clenched hands kept squeezing even tighter. 
as if he were trying to snap his neck instead of just strangling him. Hey, hey. Wh what are you doing? Yeah. Akane? This is bad. Hey, are you all right? Isn't he seriously going to die? But she was too overcome by rage to acknowledge us. I mean, you should tackle her. Huh? Oh, I get him, Chiake. Calm down, okay? You wouldn't do something like that, right? You're not the kind of person who would hurt someone. See, that's why she was, once again, the best character. Right? See, it's all right. Yep, no problem. Sorry, I'm, I'm awake now. That's weird. What, what was I doing anyway? Hey, hey! That's what I want to ask. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him. And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand up. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Akane. I got to see my dead dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. Huh? Serves you right. You probably pissed off Akane in the first place. Wow. I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. Looks like I owe you one. Then? You sincerely mean that? Tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. Huh? The password to the ancient ruin? What are you going to do with that? Don't you... play dumb. You've hidden the bombs inside that ruin, right? You're right. Yep, I did. <laughs> Until yesterday. Huh? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk to everyone. Hey, hey! Until yesterday? Hey. What the heck does that mean? Why do you have to go and make things so complicated? Then. I assume correctly, he definitely hid the bombs inside the ancient ruin. However. What exactly does he mean by until yesterday? Damn it. That bastard. Did he actually move the bomb somewhere else? Thanks, Jockey, for stopping Akane. Nope. I didn't do anything. I just slapped the shit out of that bitch. I mean, uh, Akane isn't the sort of person who could seriously do something like that in the first place. Is that so? I think. But more importantly, it might be better if we listen to what Naito has to say, I think. Sorry. Seriously, I messed up. I made you freak out. It's like I wasn't myself anymore. I didn't even realize what I was doing. I'm surprised at myself. Hey, Nagate, what do you mean by until yesterday? Well... There wasn't anything important inside the ancient ruin, just some familiar scenery. Familiar scenery? Jeez. I got bored of it. Also, if I hit him in there, it would be completely mean meaningless. <sighs> so even if you had managed to learn the password of the ancient ruin, it has no meaning anymore. Now that I've moved the bomb somewhere else... Hey, hey! But they were inside the ancient ruin, right? I'm glad. Anyway, I guess it was right for me to move them. They were about to be found before the traitor confessed. Well... Well, it's not like that really matters. In fact, that might be better. Amazing! To make hope shine even brighter. Bastard! Stop talking crazy and tell us where you moved the bombs already. <laughs> Looks like you're in a hurry. Well, that's understandable. After all, time runs out today. Hey. Then let's begin the final battle. The final battle between the traitor and everyone else. <laughs> the final battle between hope and despair. The place I hid the bombs this time is... The place you've all visited at least once, so Jabberwock Park. Hey, hey, hey! That's it? That's too broad! See? It shouldn't be that hard if you guys split up. For now, why don't you guys search everywhere as fast as you can? As long as everyone cooperates, it should be easy to find out where the bombs are. What the heck? This is exciting! It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way Hope can lose. I mean, Jabberwock Park makes more sense, since it's the most central of the... islands? <laughs> Absolute Hope that can break through any despair could never lose in a place like this. I... And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spend together. <laughs> and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. You said that already. So it's going to be fine. As long as you believe and hope with all your hearts, the path should open. With that, Nagito walked away and left us with this sinister mixed message. Damn it. Why does he still have to be alive? Dumbass. Now's not the time to complain about stuff like that. Oh. Besides, we don't have time to fight among ourselves. You are right. We must hurry and search for the bombs. We should still have time to stop them. I mean... But based on all the places we searched, I don't know where we should look. Shut the hell up! The only thing we can do is split up and cover as much ground as we can. These are exactly six of us. Each person should be in charge of searching an island. Damn it. And leave this island to me. I already have the layout of this island in my head. Leave it to me. Hmm. Akane has the first island, then I'll do the second one. <laughs> Miss Sonya should get the smallest island. Are you okay with searching the central island? No, that's us. Huh? But... Anyway, you're probably not good at covering ground anyway, right? It's fine if you can search the central island. Jack, you search the third island with the hospital. Hajime, you search the amusement park island. I mean, the amusement park, I mean, technically everyone was in the fun house. All right, then let's do it. Mm. Let's hurry up and find those bombs so we can take care of Nagito once and for all. We stomped out of the restaurant and immediately left to search for the bombs. Well, we'll stop here. 
This is a pretty decent little stopping point. In the next video, we'll see if we can find these bombs before Naito blows us all up. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.